Do you keep saying you want to create videos for your business, but you still haven't gotten started? Today, I'm gonna to talk about what's really holding you back, how to get over it, and start creating your videos today. Someone recently asked me, what's the hardest part about getting started with creating your own videos? So I threw the question back at her and I said, well, what is it? What is it for you? And she said, I don't have the right camera. And I said, excuses. <laughs> I said it in a very loving way, of course. And the reason I said that is because I have that same conversation with so many people. When I ask them why they haven't started creating videos when they've told me they've really wanted to, it's because they don't have the right camera, they don't have a studio, they don't have the right microphone. I get it. Of course, we would all love all that stuff. Hey, I want a camera crew. I want makeup people, just like everybody else. But here's the deal. When I really dive in a lot deeper with these conversations, what I find is it's the mindset. It's our mindset because Creating content, especially video content, and then sharing it, it's out there for the world to see, which means some people are gonna love it and some people might not love it so much, and that's scary. But here's the thing, if you truly believe in your information, you really, really know that you provide so much value to your audience and that the information that you have to share is gonna make a difference in their life, it's really gonna help them, creating video is so much easier because you believe, you know that the, other, that the people watching it are going to connect with you. They're going to get something out of it. So when we believe more in our work and in our message and making sure that we are doing everything we can to get it out to the people who it's meant for, then we do getting caught up being scared by the people who might not love it, who really it's not for anyway. Creating video content is so much easier. And I get it, of course you want good quality video. Here's the thing, you've got a mobile device with a really powerful camera and that is all you need to get started. That is all that you need. So a couple things to consider if you are gonna just use your mobile device, make sure that A, you have a good sound quality, people aren't gonna watch your video if they can't hear you, you have some lighting so that it doesn't look like you're doing video in a cave, and stability, because we've all watched those videos, especially those little selfie style videos where it's really shaky. We don't want your people getting sick when they're watching your videos. So that's a couple of things to consider. And beyond that, for now, get started. If you haven't started, believe in your message, know what you're gonna say, think about the people that you're serving, believe that you have this whole community of people who need to hear your message, who you can totally help with the information that you have in that head of yours. And when you get there to that place, easy to get started, and once you get started, then you'll get better and better. And then you can start upgrading with equipment and worrying about all that stuff. But that is my best piece of advice for those who haven't gotten started, but really say they wanna start. Start there with your mindset, believing in the value of your work. I would love to hear from you if you were someone who wasn't creating videos and just kept saying you wanted to, and finally got started, what got you over the hurdle? Comment below and let us know. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like it, and also share it with someone who you think might find it valuable as well. I also invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get updates when I post another video just like this.